I always knew that I didn't want to be a regular person. I won't say that I wanted to be a rapper, but I never wanted to be an average person. Like, I don't know what I exactly wanted to be, but it wasn't necessarily a rapper, but I never wanted to be average. I used to always play around and say that I wanted to be a rapper, but I never wanted to be a rapper. I just used to say that. Like, I, like, tweak sometimes and be like, I want to be a rapper when I grow up. But not for real. But I became a rapper, so it's funny. Well, I grew up listening to Trina. I really grew up listening to a lot of trap music. Like, I grew up listening to Jeezy rapping with my um, stepdad and, like, Lil Wayne. But Trina inspired me. Definitely Trina. I grew up listening to a lot of Trina. A lot of Miami people, because around... By the time being younger, Miami was real popping at the time. So we had Trina Trick Daddy. We had a lot of, you know, that's who I listened to growing up. We put out a song called Fuck That Nigga. And we was just playing around with it. We put it on SoundCloud. We was like doing strip clubs in Miami, like once we dropped the song. And then this guy named Stan, which is our manager now, he know Coach. He was he calls friends for Coach and he introduced us to Coach. And Coach was telling us like how he loves us. He listens to our music. He been following us and he wanna sign us. And that's how we got signed. A little before period drop, I'm not gonna lie, I was so nervous because I'm like, dang, do we really have fans or do we really have supporters? Do people really know us? And when a project came out, it, I think we had a lot of quiet fans, or not even a quiet fans, but a lot of people trying to really see what we could do because we really didn't have music out like that. So it was a lot of people judging us off what we had. But when they heard the project, it's like, okay, these girls really got some. It's not even just like fans. It's like, you know, like big artists, like, you know, Drake follow the city girls, Drake listen to our music. It'd be like a lot, like tiny. It's not just like more of like regular people. It's a lot of celebrities that like listen to us and really support us, like without us having to reach out. I can honestly say Cardi opened the door for a lot of normal girls that feel like they could be rappers. You know, that's I love Cardi for that. Like, you know, Cardi, you you seen her? I watched Cardi from being that girl in her bed to being on, on Met Gala. So it's like, well, she's okay, yeah. she a real, she a real. I could curse. She a real bitch. So it's like, yeah, um, Nikki opened the door back for female rap. Cause you know it was like closed for a long time, but it was only Nikki for a long period of time. Then when Cardi came, it made it feel like, like not everybody else feel like they could come in and come in. She cool for that. Yeah, we want to work with Cardi. That'll be like, that'll be the totally. That'll be the littest song probably. The City of Girls all Plus time. Cardi. Oh, man. She's too ratchet. <laughs> That'll be just lit. Yeah, and she bring that ratchet like she bring. She just she herself. bring that ratchet to the red carpet. Period. Yeah. He was always like on me about like being so secretive about it. Like you know, you gotta tell people because I don't think he really wanted me to tell him like that. He probably wanted to tell him. I don't know how he wanted me to tell him, but he was just like you know, you gotta open up about it because somebody probably going through the same thing you going through. It wasn't a really no secret it just was like nobody's business because it was just like you know like now that i told everybody every other day i gotta deal with it which i don't give a fuck honestly i don't care what people say like it's like oh, okay i did it i mean i didn't do it but i'm saying allegedly they said i did it so it's like fuck it you know whatever if a blog want to put it out there you know whatever but it's like now blogs put it up and stuff then you got people they come it's under there saying this that and the third and it's just like shut the fuck up we recorded like a lot of music and we for to do like some more videos it's 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 gonna go by fast it's not nobody not probably even notice i'm gone like that well they'll notice i'm gone because i tweet a lot and they gonna probably miss that but they know who you are so i feel like people are gonna be like where'd you go no they know <laughs> They know, they so nosy. I can't even log on Instagram live no more. They be like, JT, don't go. Why you going to jail? What did you do? And I'm like, I just fucking told y'all. I told y'all the whole story. Y'all gonna ask me again. We gonna put out a project. Well, while I'm gone, it's gonna be a whole project come out, more videos, you know. But y'all getting exclusive. Yeah, I wanna know more. Tell me, what, oh my what's God. this project I called? I think she said it too much. <laughs> ah, I'm like, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't know what our project gonna be called. I probably won't even have no say so. That's the, what's sad too. I won't know how I'ma look on these videos or nothing, I ain't gonna have no say so.